Sean, a horrendous night for Everton Football Club. 6 0 defeat at Chelsea. Everton's heaviest defeat in 19 years. Yeah, look, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel really, really sorry for our supporters tonight who travelled all the way from London now to build the team, show abuse of the players and, you know, throwing the players' families at the end of the game. You know, they, they really don't deserve that type of performance. And, um, look, you know, I've spoke to the board and said, look, should we give the fans their money back, reimburse them? And they've said, no, we need the money to get Charlie Austin on loan tonight. So I understand that completely. We're sorry about that, but, uh, but look... Let's look at the game. You know, I think Cole Palmer's absolutely destroyed us. And I think Carlton Palmer would have destroyed us tonight with that performance. But this is a really good Chelsea team. I mean, they nearly beat Liverpool under threes in the Carabao Cup final. Really good team. And I think we were unlucky. We were unlucky. James Sarkowski was arguing with the Everton fans at the end of the game. What did they say to him? Yeah, look, I spoke to Tarky uh, and he's relayed the conversation to me. So for the first 27 and a half minutes, the Everton fans were saying, Boo! Boo! Get out of our club, Squarehead! Um, and then they started, you know, uh, asking him if he could assassinate Michael Keane with a sniper's rifle gun. Uh, and, um, you know, look, they offered him 350 quid and that's absolutely disgusting. That's unacceptable. I mean, you've got to be paying at least 500 quid for that. You really are. But in the end, you know, we negotiated, we've agreed a deal and um, it's got to work out well because we'll give the job to better. That way, it works for everyone. We get 350 quid and Michael Keane gets to live because better was never at the target in his life. Come on. But Beto just isn't good enough. Why did the Dominic Calvert Lewin start? Yeah, look, um, unfortunately, Dominic Calvert Lewin was filming another Gillette advert this week and he's pulled a muscle uh, in one of the hairs of his beard, so uh, we got to get stretched off set. He's out for another 14 years now, unfortunately, for him. And look, he's never been great at shaving. You know, I, mean, I don't know why he shaves anyway, he's never had a beard. Uh, but he has definitely shaved a few goals off his tally this season and so have the bloody other strikers as well. But yeah, look, just one of those things. He's a good lad, he's a good lad. Sorry to say, Sean, you're under extreme pressure now. 6 0 is a sackable offence. Look, I know what, what people expect from me. We're playing against a team tonight worth 1.2 billion. That's how much they're worth on the pitch. And I'm, I've got a combined age of 346 on the right wing. Ask the younger Seamus Coleman. Come on, I've got a, a, a striker who works part time in KFC on County Road. You've got to be joking me. We're 4 0 down at half time. And my options on the bench are the extremely slappable right-back formerly known as Nathan Patterson, Brett Angel, yet Sylvester Stallone, Tony Bellew and Liz from Atomic Kitten. Do you know what I mean? Well, what am I supposed to do? Put yourself in my shoes. Bloody hell, the Everton fans want me gone. I want me gone. This club's a bloody disease. Well, I think the fans have got every right to be angry. Do you have a message for them? Yeah, look, all I'll say, you know, I just promised the Everton fans, look, oh, we've got a massive game coming up against Nottingham Forest. If you get your flags out... You know, when the team coach comes in, jump on top of it, get behind the team. And I can promise you now, if you do that, I promise we will smash Nottingham Forest 1-3, Chris Wadatrick. Honestly, we'll do that for you. So be a great guy. Get yourself down there. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely great.